Great hunting is not that far away. Welcome to Illinois Outdoors. There's somewhere. How are we doing everyone? Don DeGina here for Illinois Outdoors. Welcome to the show. I tell you we got a, we got a, we got a fun one for you today. We're out at Rooster Heaven. We're gonna be doing some pheasant hunting. Let me go back a little bit and tell you where how where this is all coming from. Back last year, what we did was uh, Illinois Outdoors offered a, 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 a TV show to the German Short Hair Pointer Club of Illinois. They had a raffle to do basically it's a fundraiser and uh, People bought tickets, and the winner was Chuck Horvath. And joining me today for the TV show and doing some fun, some hunting here at Rooster Heaven is Chuck Horvath. Hi, Chuck. How are you Don. doing? Hi, Don. Are you excited? I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. You know, I think probably one of the <laughs> one of the best parts about it is we're at one of your favorite places to go shoot a few birds. I, uh, I think it's a great terrain here. It's great for the dogs. It's great for anybody who wants to enjoy the outdoors and have a hunt. So uh, we're, we're, it, it's not going to be only about your shooting abilities. I, I may try oh. to shoot a bird here and there. Good. But uh, it's also going to be about the abilities of, uh, of this young lad over here to see if he can find a bird or two. Well, Chase is uh, my fourth short hair, and uh, she's eight years old. No, I'm sorry, she's nine years old now. So she's run the gamut for me, but uh, I still compete with her and shoot through trees. Uh, I ran all the tests with her through AKC for a Master Hunt title, and I'm sure she's not at that level anymore, but we'll have fun with her. Well, she is shaking in her britches there. She wants to get out there and find a bird. So how about this? Why don't we uh, get out there and get us a bird? Let's see if we can find some. All right. Looking forward. This is really nice. <laughs> and it's, what a beautiful day. Beautiful yeah. terrain, beautiful day for, for the time of the year. Two. Good girl, come. Good girl. Right here. <laughs> come. Come here, free it here. 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 Good. Good dog. Okay. One down, Don. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. <laughs> They're pretty birds, they always are. Not it's a bad. pleasure to be out there Not with them. Not bad. Good shot. First bird. Thank you. First bird of the day. Many more to come. Yeah. That's nice. Nice bird. You know, yeah. look at it. Look at the spurs. Let's go get another one. Chuck, look over there. I think she's getting a little birdie. Look at that really cool looking Tahoe truck over there. Okay. Pretty steady for me. Yeah, she's had her share of birds. You want to go up and touch the dog or something like that? So I'll show you how steady she is. Good bird. Whoa. You gonna take this one, Don? I'm hunkered down pretty good where you can't see him. He's there somewhere. Well, I think she can see me. I actually see him over the top. Come here. Come. 
Right here. Give. Good dog. Another pretty bird. Another pretty bird. Good dog. That's good dog. That's a good dog. Okay. Okay. Get that rooster up and walking. This one's going to walk on us. See where it decides to go. Say you whoa. Great rooster walking here. He's head. I tell you what, not a bad start, you know. We got a we got a couple birds already, you know, and have a what boy I tell you what beautiful ground they have out here. It's really nice, easy to walk, uh, easy to find the different fields that they have for you because they're all very well marked. Yeah. And they're all equally as good and, and I'll tell you also there's a nice uh, wild pheasant population out in this area as well too. Yeah. You so. know what I really like is the fact that you can see the dog working, you know. You can see the dog running around and everything else, you know, the you know, I've been to some places where all you see is you see weeds moving and then you think that the dog is on point when all of a sudden the weeds stop moving. Yeah, yeah. It's not always <laughs> and then the you best. hope that there's a bird there, you know. It's not always the best scenario, and, especially when you have a younger dog. Yeah, and I've and I've hunted areas where, where the hunters actually have to stay in the roads and only the dogs are allowed in the cover, which is very narrow. Yeah. And it's pretty boring. It's not like hunting. But this is this is really nice. I really enjoy it. Get some great strips all the way through here. You know, I, w I really want to learn more about this place here. So, you know what, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we're going to be back with more of Illinois Outdoors in just a moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk with, uh, with uh, Terry Cope to find out a little bit more about Rooster Heaven. And then we'll come back after that. Let's find some more birds. And you're going to have to get a few more birds. Let's see if we can do it. We'll be right back. Boulder Junction, Wisconsin is the musky capital of the world, offering you a chance at a true trophy. But Boulder Junction offers more than just musky. Fish for walleye, pike, bass, and panfish on 194 crystal clear lakes. If that's not enough to lure you to Boulder Junction, how about free bait? Just stop in the Boulder Junction Chamber of Commerce office and mention Illinois Outdoor. You'll receive a voucher good for free bait. Visit boulderjct.org for details. Start planning your Boulder Junction fishing trip today. I'll fill you in on a little secret. The Heritage Corridor is your close to home destination for all sorts of great outdoor activities. Do you know the Illinois River in LaSalle and Grundy County offers the best sauger and striper fishing? The corridor also boasts excellent deer, turkey, and waterfowl hunting. Superb dining and lodging can be had at Starve Rock Lodge, right at the doorsteps to hiking trails, woods, and water. The Heritage Corridor Convention and Visitors Bureau, a great resource to Illinois' best kept secrets. Plan your outdoors vacation today in the Heritage Corridor in Illinois, mile after magnificent mile. If you have a boat, a big boat, a little boat, power boat, fishing boat, an inboard, an outboard, freshwater, saltwater, whatever kind of boat you own, you need to use Marine Formula Stable every time you fill up. Marine Formula Stable prevents corrosion caused by moisture in today's ethanol blended fuels and cleans the fuel system to improve engine performance. Marine Formula Stable, protect your fuel at every fill up. Valley Park District presents the Gotcha Outdoors Adventure Sports Show on January 5th and 6th. 
This year's featured speakers are the pro staff of Takedown Outdoors. This year's Gotcha Outdoors Adventure Sports Show is sponsored by the Kankakee Valley Park District, Cabela's, Center Shot Archery, and the Kankakee County Convention and Visitors Bureau. So save the dates and come on out to the Gotcha Outdoors Adventure Sports Show on January 5th and 6th. For more details, visit gotchaoutdoors.com. Come and discover Kankakee County. My name is Chuck Horvath, and I'll be out here today hunting over at Rooster Heaven. Uh, it's a facility that I think highly of. It's got some great grounds. Uh, it duplicates as much as anything else, any wild areas that you're going to get into, and farmer lands and so forth. It gives us all an opportunity to hunt in areas that we may not otherwise find grounds to hunt on. Uh, I'm a member of the German Short Hair Club and involved with that group. And we do some events out here as well. I uh, have a couple hunts. And we also lease some land, land through the uh, National Shoot to Retrieve Association, which I'm a member. We do all our trials out here. Our spring and fall trials are held out here on Rooster Heaven Hunt Grounds. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us to work our dogs. Uh, we train year-round out here as well, too. So I've got an older dog and I've got a young pup that I'm working with. So uh, it gives us some great opportunities. Hey, welcome back to Illinois Outdoors, everybody. I'm Don Gina, and uh, we have Terry Cope with us. He's the manager here at Rooster Heaven, and you know, uh, wow, you got a beautiful place here. Yeah, it's uh, about 2,000 acres of uh, hunt ground. We uh, offer uh, quite a few things for the hunter, uh, and uh, we we aim to please. Well. Needless to say, with the name of Rooster Heaven, probably that's the number one thing that the guys and gals do when they come out here. They go, they go uh, pheasant hunting. And uh, but what kind of birds do you release for the people that want to hunt? Uh, we have upland game birds. Uh, we have pheasant, chucker. We have Hungarian partridge uh, and quail. We also do duck hunts, which uh, are really catching on and going great for us. And uh, we offer some other things such as deer and turkey is also available. Let me, let me ask you about the duck hunts. As far as the duck hunts are concerned, I mean, do you have ponds out here that uh, you have blinds on or, or how yes. does that work? Yes, the ducks uh, are released and fly naturally to the ponds and it's they're, they're on their own and you're on your own and it's uh, uh, quite challenging, quite challenging. And as far as uh, like a turkey hunt or something like that, that's a, a, is that like a special order? Uh, turkey hunt and, and uh, deer hunting is done strictly on a wild basis. We don't release turkeys here and of course we don't release deer, but we have some uh, timber in some different locations and we, we offer deer packages and turkey packages. Here at Rooster Heaven we also offer sporting clays course. It's actually a five stand where, where you can take different levels of different heights and different directions uh, to shoot sporting clays. We have lights which are available for evening shooting and also a rifle range and a pistol range. If you well, the, probably the, like, like we said, the, the, the most people come out here for the pheasant hunting. You know, what, what's a typical hunt? Uh, what, what do people ask for? Five birds, ten birds? We offer uh, half day hunts in the a.m. and in the p.m. hours. Uh, normally our, our a.m. hunts are from 8 to noon and then from 1 to sunset roughly. And uh, we offer non-member prices and member prices. And, and the weekends we just like to go a minimum of around five birds a man, but we're, we're open. We're open to, you're open to suggestion and whatever. And, and yeah, the we, thing, custom, we custom hunts. And you, and you can do all the same with, uh, with, the, with the chucker, the quail, and, and the yes. partridge and, and stuff like that. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. As far as, uh, it, let, let's say for, for example, uh, uh, someone who's watching the television show today and they wanted to come out here and they want to hunt at Rooster Heaven. They want to go out and they want to go pheasant hunting. They got a group of four guys and gals, uh, whatever. And they want to come out here. Best deal, call the day before and set it up, or could they, could they are you take walk-ins? Yeah, well, yes, we have. Yes, we have. We have openings. If, if we're, we're, we have openings. We've got quite a bit of ground here. 
that's uh, groomed very well. What I would suggest is that a person go to our website okay. and uh, look up roosterheaven. Uh, dot com and you can and find the pricing in there for non-member and member pricing and you can call us directly here and we can schedule a hunt for you and customize it whatever way you'd like. Well chances are you probably talk to Terry when you do a call down here at Rooster Heaven but uh, you know what we're gonna take another little break here we're gonna be back with more of Illinois Outdoors you know we've been doing some hunting out here having some fun we're gonna go and get some more we'll be right back. Mercer, the Loon Capital is home to the Turtle Flambeau Flowage and Wisconsin's favorite outdoor playground. With over 377,000 acres of public land and 125,000 acres of water, Mercer is your go-to destination for fall hunting and fishing. In Mercer, Wisconsin, you're with family and friends. Make plans to visit Mercer today. Hello, I'm Shannon Johnson, Executive Director for the Williamson County Tourism Bureau. This year, we are celebrating 25 years of promoting memorable travel experiences. Whether you favor the outdoors, sports, unique cuisine, wine, or just relaxing with the family, you can find it here in Williamson County. I'd like to personally invite you to come and explore a region full of adventures, wrapped up nicely with true Southern charm and hospitality. Can you picture yourself in Southern Illinois? We can. Grundy's Honker, the Central Zone's newest duck and goose hunting club located in Graceville, less than a mile west of Braidwood's Cooling Lake where the water never freezes. Grundy's Honker offers some of the best duck and goose hunting in the Chicagoland area. Enjoy your hunt from large heated pits and above ground blinds and cornfields and next to water. Experienced guides will make sure you have a great time with hunting memories that will last a lifetime. Check out Grundy's Honker's website at grundyshonkers.com or call at 815-448-BANG. That's 815-448-BANG. Hey, welcome back to Illinois Outdoors, everyone. Don DeGina here. I'm here with Chuck Horvat. We're at Rooster Heaven Hunt Club. <laughs> and we got another one. We got... Oh, I'll tell you what, this, uh, this is a lot of fun. Uh, this is great. This, pretty... this dog here is doing fantastic. She's not too bad. We have fun with her. That's what it's all about, I think. I love being behind the dogs. Yeah, and you know what? You know, so... Oh, she's probably on point where the bird was. It's a hot spot there. But, uh... I tell you what, these German short hairs, that's what they're all about. That's that's <laughs> they're hunting. I remember my first German short hair gypsy. You go out hunting, you can take a dog treat, you can take a piece of salami, you can take anything you want and try to offer to that dog when it's hunting and it just says just shakes his head and says no. It just says no. I wanna hunt, you know. And it would just take off and hunt again, you know. And it would hunt and hunt and hunt until it would just about drop. We, uh, Navda has a training thing for tracking, teaching tracking, and they use hot dog pieces. And I try laying hot dogs down for the dog to follow. She could have cared less about the hot dogs. Same thing. Why don't let me hunt? Let me run and find birds. Yeah. Ah, you whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'll get back to where the bird is. Okay, we have one here, Don. Got one right up here, it looks like. See you walk it up, you want to walk it up? Whoa. 
I'll let you shoot first, there's no. Good shot. Come here, right here. Right here, another beautiful bird. Come here. Ah, ah, ah. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it here. Hold it. Give. Yeah. Good, Good dog. dog. Okay. Good dog. Another beautiful bird. Not bad. They're all beautiful. <laughs> that nice for what? Yeah. Okay. Do a great job great. of maintaining their birds out here, so it makes for a more pleasant hunt. Yeah. This is good. Doing a great job. I, now I got a question for you. Yes. You got another dog in the car. I got a young dog. How young? Seven months. I, I, I think she's really, or he? She. She is really sad. I think you ought to bring her out for at least one bird. I, I would love to do it. It belongs to my granddaughter. She'd love to see that dog work a pheasant for the first time. Let's do it. All Let's right. go get the dog. Let's go get her. Okay. <laughs> We're going to take that, 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 that other dog out. Okay. Now you said this is your granddaughter's dog? My granddaughter, my grandson's dog, yeah. Okay. They named it, called, named it Zoe. Zoe? Zoe. Oh. So she's seven months. We've had her on quail. We've done some shooting over her. She's comfortable with that. She point. And she'll point. She listen. Well, that's debatable. She's seven <laughs> months. <laughs> uh, do you need to keep her on a lead or anything? I, I think I'll run her with. I've got two big check cords. I'll put a check cord on her just so I've got some control. She doesn't chase too much. So yeah, that's the idea behind it anyway. Okay, that'll be fine. Will you be able to shoot and hold on to that, or are you just going to drop the chuck? I'm going to probably drop, well, no, I'll probably stand on it and hold it. Maybe I'll have you shoot. I could hold it. Huh? That, you know, we'll figure this, out what this happens. Is, this is your granddaughter. Let you let Grandpa shoot the bird. Okay. Over her dog, and then uh, we'll that, let that's her. what we'll do. We'll, okay. plan, we'll plan on getting it so the dog can't run over too far. All right, I'll hold okay. the dog. Okay. Go ahead, get the dog out. This is a nice looking little dog, you know, it doesn't have that chocolate and liver ticking typical color. This one, the body is almost all white and uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool looking, pretty cool looking dog, you know, I'll tell you what. Well, the kids enjoy her and, you know, I buy these dogs for pets and then I try to get as much out of them as I can for hunting and so far we've been pretty lucky with it. Yeah. So this is Zoe, belongs to Kyra and Abby. There you go. So, you want to find a bird for us? Let's go hunt. Trade you. No, wait, come here. Ah, uh, not in the nose. Come here. Leave it, leave oh. it, leave it. Got it. I think she smells something around here. Here we go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. We right. got that bird, huh? We got a bird here? Huh? We got a bird here? We got a bird here? <laughs> hey, whoa. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. We get a double off you, huh? Good Easy. Girl. Easy. Easy. Good whoa, that's a good whoa. Good whoa. Ah, 
Good job. Needless to say, job. there's a lot of learning Good that job. has to be done when you have a young that's dog like this. That's but awesome. that's what churning is all about. You got the dogs, you get them plenty of birds to work with, and it's just a matter of training, repetition, and having them get and learn to love the fine birds. Chuck, I, I, you know, this what a pleasure this has got to be. Your grandchildren, they got their dog, it's on TV, it's seven months old, did two great points, okay, found two birds, held them points real well, you were able to flush it, knock the birds down, Grandpa shot the birds on top of that. Didn't miss them. <laughs> and, and now the dog is on TV. Well, they'll be excited about it to say the least. I mean, they don't know what, what the dog can do or can't do at this point. I just said that it's a hunting dog and they all can find find birds, it's just a matter of how obedient they are when they do it. Yeah. And uh, this was great out here, obviously. I enjoy the fact that I was able to hunt with you. Uh, Patrick Harms runs a great facility out here, the owner of the place, and uh, he makes an effort to keep the grounds so hunters can enjoy it with their dogs. And, you know, too, we have to also thank thanks Terry Cope to, for his help in, uh, in the production of this show. He did a great job, you know, he's, he's very informative. He knows this place like the back of his hands. We said we needed a nice place where it would be good backdrop for the birds, get us out of the wind a little bit, uh, being able to see the dogs, and he said, well, okay, we're going to go over to area number six. <laughs> it's, it's great. You know what? Um, there's something that I say at the end of my show that it really doesn't apply here. Uh, but if you change the wording a little bit, uh, it does. And you know what that is? Nope. It's that great hunting is not that far away. Until next time, I'm Don Gigina, and you are... Chuck Horvath. We're at Rooster Heaven. <laughs> we'll see you next week.